Welcome back to the third part of recovering the left wing of my pacer. Um, so where I stopped yesterday was uh, that I realized that I have to put the leading edge back on before I can bolt the uh, fuel tank back in. So today's task is uh, pulling the fuel tank back out, do the cleanup on the leading edge here, um, like tightening the wires, uh, put new tie wraps on, stuff like that. Uh, after that is all done, I can use my ratchet straps that I took with me this morning uh, coming here uh, and uh, use the ratchet strap to really get the uh, leading edge skin tight over the ribs, put all the screws back in and then I can drop the tank in and uh, yeah, then take it from there. Well, a little bit noisy here today, um, it's raining, so but yesterday was one of these days where you make all these plans on how much you finish and you barely get about half of uh, it done. So I wanted to get to the point that I actually have the uh, leading edge already back on and the tank back out and maybe the tank back in with the auxiliary tank, but um, uh, I all I did yesterday was uh, really cleaning up behind the leading edge and rerouting wires, um, but now it looks all good. Um, so I rerouted all the wires because one wire was laying here. You can still see a little bit of the, um, the mark it made here in the leading edge. So I got the, all, the, all that cleaned up, uh, made like one wire harness basically. Um, and did a lot of cleanup here. Uh, also, the one wire, which I believe is the wire for the um, for the position light, uh, the navigation light, uh, was just laying here on top of the spa. And I thought, oh, that's actually not a bad idea. But then, because I thought closer about it, and all these black spots here, uh, basically. Uh, left by the wire where it was moving uh, back and forth from vibration whatever so I thought maybe after all not that good of an idea so I after I really did everything <laughs> I cut all the wire uh, ties back off and redid everything and now the wire is bundled uh, nicely here together with everything else so but now everything is clean and ready to go. Um, so this morning I will now finally take the auxiliary tank back out and then put the at least one, there's like the leading edge is split there. Um, so I will put this part of the leading edge back in. So got the leading edge back on, um, the looks good. So of course I still have to do some cleanup here, but it's easier to do this when the leading edge is attached. Uh, so I can use a scotch bite pad and uh, uh, some cleaner and just get this all nice and clean. Uh, it's also later for <clears throat> when I do the gluing of the, um, the fabric, um, I want it really nice and clean so that the the glue can stick. Um, surprisingly, there were only a few holes that I had to, um, they were stripped. Um, so I just uh, had to slightly beside the original hole, just drilled a new hole. And, uh, uh, but again, there was a lot of them, they were actually fine. Um, and it was only here in this row of uh, holes, um, the one here by the spa, uh, you know, the, the ribs uh, was fine. And all the holes here on the back of the spa, they were really, really good. Um, so they're all nice and tight. So uh, there's no 
I, I don't feel any movement of the uh, leading edge against the ribs, so that's good. So done with the leading edge. For, on this part here, I still have to do the part here, the last part, um, but again, uh, the uh, butt rib at first I want to exchange. So now it's time to uh, mount the uh, auxiliary fuel tank. I did check um, and put uh, all the screws in for the fuel sender here uh, and tighten them. Uh, just want to make sure that none of them are stripped because I don't want to have put everything in and then find out that one of the holes is stripped and I have to take everything back out uh, to fix that. So I check those things before I actually put it in. So uh, tank is ready to go in. So let's do it. So yesterday I was going to put the fuel tank back in, the auxiliary tank. And just as I was get ready to do it, um, one of the mechanics here from the local shop came by. Um, we have a really good shop here. Um, they have really tall mechanics. So, and yesterday the mechanic who is uh, the most experienced with fabric airplanes, he came by and he looked over the wing and um, all the Captain's exit, uh, uh, refurbish, and uh, uh, so everything he likes, uh, everything was good. And he wasn't quite happy with uh, how the top of the fuel tank still looks. Um, yeah, um, um, he's still concerned about that the corrosion will just continue, and uh, that I really didn't get enough of the, the um, um, surface lost off. So, um, and I kind of had to agree with him, I was also not quite happy with it. So, we agreed that uh, the best would probably be to just sand everything down again. So, and I had three coats of paint on there. Um, green format, uh, epoxy primer, and then a top coat. But to sand everything off again and really get it down a little bit further, down to the um, to, to get whatever corrosion um, there is, uh, I can get off, uh, and then uh, we looked at it again, and then we did actually we decided to uh, uh, put a coat of uh, fiberglass on it, um, to just coat the whole top of the fuel tank with fiberglass to really seal everything off. So even if in the future if there is a little pinhole or so, um, hopefully they, that it wouldn't be. So that's what I've been doing today. Um, I also finished uh, uh, some of the other work uh, in the wing uh, where the fiberglass is uh, drying. So um, let's take a look. So what I also did yesterday is um, a friend stopped by um, who, is, uh, who has all the equipment for uh, riveting. So we got the, these are the, this is the outboard aileron bracket back on. So we got everything riveted back in here. Um, so that looks good. Um, so outboard aileron bracket, then the inboard aileron bracket is in also. Uh, also everything is riveted. Um, got all this now tied up and uh, uh, put in. The same with the um, uh, flap. This is the outboard flap bracket. So it's all in and also of course the inboard flat bracket. Um, I've done some more cleaning up here on the wing. They still still have to do some more cleaning here on top here to get all the old glue off. Um, so there's still a task I have to do. And then uh, so here's now the fuel tank after I send it everything back off and now there's a coat of fiberglass on top and i like that idea actually so that should really seal it off um, so i may do one more uh, uh, cloth on top of this and then i prime it again and paint again so and then i'm hopefully done with the fuel tank and if this lasts another 25 years, I will be happy. And on to the next task.
Um, so while I'm still working on the auxiliary tank, um, I'm gonna pull the main tank out. So it should be fairly easy. Um, there's one bolt is right there. It's for the cross tube that goes through the tank um, all the way to the other side on the other sp uh, on the front spar. And so that bolt has to come out. And of course, the straps have to be undone. And here's the cross tube connection on the front spar. So that has to come out down there. And then I should be able to just tilt the tank up a little bit and pull the uh, cross tube out and then the tank should come off. Um, there's enough clearance for the fuel sender so I don't have to take that off. I just have to uh, uh, take the uh, ground wire off. Um, and maybe the fuel ports here. I don't know, visible, yeah, there it is. The fuel port in the front and in the back. They probably have to come off. Um, which at that time I can also inspect the, um, the screens that are in the fuel tank. So, uh, so let's get to it. Uh, the fuel tank came out easy, so that's the good part. Um, so, but now I'm looking at the straps here, and uh, of course, uh, there after I pulled the felt, uh, they're kind of nasty looking. So, I need to find out what kind of material this is. Um, um, it doesn't look like it ate into the middle. I think this is just glue um, from the from the straps. So. I think that's all it is. So hopefully I can just wire brush this off here. Um, but I probably at least have to put some kind of a coat of primer on these um, stripes here. Um, that's just the fun working on old airplanes. Uh, you think you have everything covered and then uh, you pull something apart and um, you again deep into refurbishing the part so but hey that's how it is so um, that's why I pulled this open so I will next thing uh, get my wire brush out and see if I can clean this up uh, worst case I actually have to take them out but they are kind of wrapped around the, the spa which right now here in the front is fine um, I can get this out uh, except this part here I have to loosen the leading edge in the bottom, which is not a big deal, um, to get this out here. Um, but I have not opened up the, the rear leading edge, so I may have to then pull that out. Uh, we'll see. At first, let's take a look what I can do um, as far as cleaning this up. So today is a nice day. Um, I just picked up the tank cover from a friend of mine. I had a I had a hole in here um, that had worn through from the tank strap bolt um, at one time. So he welded that shut. And I had also a little crack here, I think on this side here, and maybe a little bit here on this hole for the, for the, for the screw. And he welded that shut. So now I'm gonna put paint stripper on, uh, get rid of the paint. Uh, I just use, um, paint stripper that I buy here at our local Home Depot actually. Um, it's just a relatively cheap I guess. So it's like this bucket was like 20 bucks paint stripper. Um, I've used it many times before. It works great. So you just brush it on and let it sit for a day or so 12 hours, 20, uh, usually 24 hours. When I come back tomorrow the, the paint will be peeling right off. So. That's what I'm doing now, um, and then I have to do some more cleaning up on the cleaning up to do on the wing. So the tank cover cover has been sitting since yesterday, um, and I put the paint stripper on. So 
looks like the stripper has done his uh, job. There's a uh, one spot in the center. I don't see much lifting, but uh, let's see when I put the uh, spatula to it, uh, how it comes off. As I found with uh, many other parts of my airplane, um, there's actually multiple coats on most of the metal parts. So, but the first coat came off great. So I'm gonna brush some more on it, some more stripper. And here's even uh, still some green color left um, because the airplane was originally green. So anyhow, so time for another coat of uh, stripper. Let it sit and then tomorrow the same thing, scrape it off. So this morning I spent some time on uh, uh, the tank lid, uh, getting the paint off. Um, I also did some more cleaning up here on the uh, fuel tank straps so there and primed them. Uh, also got the leading edge back on and the, and the, the last piece of, piece of the leading edge there. So now it's finally time to drop the fuel tank in. Uh, the mechanics came by, looked one more time at the tank, so now they're saying it's good to go. So let's drop it in. So today I did get the fuel tank in, so everything is bolted in, um, got the fuel ports, both of the fuel ports back connected, uh, got the fuel sender in, um, reconnected everything, so, and I did get the, the uh, drag wires also in, so I, I haven't tightened them yet, so because I still have to... Um, now do these uh, drag wires because I also loosened them because I had to get the um, um, strut attachment fittings out. So I do want to wrap new uh, uh, tape around all these connecting points here. So, but I leave that for tomorrow um, and then I can start tightening the drag wires and get the wing all squared. Um, and then I'm basically getting ready for doing some improvement work uh, here for the tank cover um, I'm gonna put nut plates in here um, and then uh, yeah I'm getting closer for the mechanics to come over do one more inspection on the wing and I can start putting cover on uh, yeah I also by the way did the uh, got the leading edge back on so but there's still some cleanup work to do um, before I put the fabric on. But overall, it was a good day today.